Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. That's Diane's Decorating and More. Thank you so much for tuning in today and stopping by the channel and looking at what I'm going to be showing you today, okay? And to all of you who are supporting me out there, I appreciate you guys and thank you so much. Okay, today I have a good one for you. Okay, it is a simple, plain pound cake. I've had so many requests for that one. And now I have the time to do it and to invest into it to show you exactly how I make the plain pound cake, okay? And my title for this cake basically um, is Plain Jane, okay? It's a Plain Jane pound cake, okay? And it's simple, not a lot of ingredients, just straight to the point, but delicious, okay? So we're going to get started. All of our ingredients are at room temperature as always, okay? Whenever you're doing a pound cake, all right? So I took a snapshot of everything that will go into the pound cake as well, all right? So we're gonna get to the point, guys. Let's get started. Okay, so we've already put our butter in here, okay? And we're going to um, now add our sugar in okay all right for this particular cake i'm going to be mixing the sugar and the butter at the same time all right all right so we're going to do this for again for a total of um 12 minutes 10 to 12 minutes okay and then we're going to stop it and check it all right so let's get started with that part. All right, so that looks good to me. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at it right quick. All right, do our final spray down. exactly what that looks like okay yeah that's your butter and your sugar okay all right and we're going to be adding our eggs in one at a time here we have five large eggs okay at room temperature as well just until you get it incorporated into your butter and your sugar, okay? Now with this cake here being a plain cake or a plain pound cake, um, it's like I said, it's very simple. It's not a lot of ingredients with this cake. So, you know, you'll be able to pretty much go through the steps pretty quickly in terms of putting everything together, okay? So it should turn out pretty good for you guys as well. And it's always turned out pretty good for me. I never had any um, mishaps or anything like that. The cake came out fluffy. Um, uh, 
soft, I should say, and very tasty because of the different flavors that you will be, you know, adding to the cake. Okay, so that will be uh, one of the positive sides with this particular plain cake is that it's a plain cake and you can add fruit to it you can add ice cream to it or anything that you like in terms of topping your cake with that okay since it's a plain cake um, these particular cakes last a good while um, and they are uh, freezable you can freeze them um, or cut it in slices and freeze it you can do that also you can um, once the cake comes out of the oven if you put it into a sealed container um, then it holds the moisture and it holds and it stays moist for a pretty good time as well okay so I wanted to share those tips with you all right so what we're going to do now we're going to alternate uh, between our milk and flour at this point okay Okay, so now we're putting our flour in, and again, it is um, three cups of flour here. Okay, give that a little tap. So I had already sifted the flour, I sifted the baking powder and our salt together in the flour. Okay, so that's already done. And with our um, heavy cream here, I've we're using one and a fourth cup of heavy cream. I've already added the flavorings that we're going to use in here as well. Okay, so we are ready to go with that. All right, and I just do that in advance because um, it's easier for me and. I have to spend so much time, camera time, you know, doing that. It just makes it quicker. All right. Slow that down just a little bit. And we're going to be alternating between flour and milk. So you're going to always start with your dry ingredients and alternate with your liquid, ending with your dry. Okay. All right. Going to do a little bit at a time. a yellow tint because of the um, the uh, flavoring or extracts that um, was added to the milk that's why it has that yellow tint to it okay fourth cup of milk in with the other and just stirring it in making sure everything is incorporated there as well
stop it for a second and just scrape down the sides, okay? Make sure we get all of our ingredients into the batter. All right, there. It is thick, but that's just the way it is in terms of the, the pound cake itself, okay? It's gonna balance itself out, so don't worry about that. Scrape down. Okay, making sure we get everything in there. Okay. There we go. All right. It smells really good. So that's always a positive with the pound cake. <laughs> Smell. there spins on that just to incorporate that part and then it'll wipe down right here much clean as I go So now we're at the point where we're going to um, put everything in our pan here. And again, this is our pan, okay? And we're going to go ahead and prep it and get it ready, all right? And we'll be right back and I'll show you that. Now we have prepared our pan here, as you can see. I sprayed it inside really, really, really good, okay? Um, and I just wanted to make sure it's really secured in terms of that. So, because it is still a relatively a new black pan that I had purchased. Um, and that's just my <laughs> security measure there, so to speak, okay? So, that's what I did that guy. All right, so we're going to go ahead now and put our batter inside of here. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, like I said, it's pretty thick, and that's okay. It's going to be just fine. That's usually the nature of the pound cake. Plain pound cake, and nothing in there other than the regular and basic ingredients. Okay. Alright. 
this pan is a um, 10 to 12 capacity okay so it's a pretty big pan people what they like to see uh, when it comes to baking or cooking anything I like everybody to see um, some of those final steps okay all right Oops, got a little bit there see if I can get that off of there it's okay and then, on top of there. All right, so we're just gonna basically spread this around like this in there. All right, spreading it around. All right, it is well greased. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it it will go into the oven now for an hour 15 minutes um, and we'll check it at that time to see if this needs any more time for baking and it's going to be at a temperature of 325 degrees guys all right and we'll be right back so stay tuned now we are back our stuff our cake is finished and it has cooled off. Okay, so now we're getting ready to turn it on to our dish here. Okay, I'm going to see that and hope you can see that. All right, okay. So we're going to convert it onto this little turntable here. Okay, there we go. And I put a little doily on there so we can turn the cake on. All right. All right. Perfect. That's what we want to see. It's perfect. All right. I like that. I like what I see. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. It smells delicious, guys. Yes, it does. Okay. So I was trying to think of how I wanted to finish this plain Jane cake off, right? So I went ahead and got some fruit here that I'm going to put in the center, okay? So I was thinking I have some blackberries okay and strawberries you don't have to do all of this this is just me i um wanted to finish it off really nice so that's what i'm doing here we got blueberries we got raspberries we got blackberries strawberries and 
I'll give you a close-up shot of that, okay? Just a second. All right. I felt this would be a nice ending touch to the cake. Raspberries there. And like I say, you can do anything you want with a plain cake, plain pound cake. The decorating or topping ideas is endless, guys. All right, I like that. I think that's enough. And then to top it off, thinking about just touching it up with a little of the powdered sugar, okay? Like that. There we go. And that is your plain Jane. Okay. All right. So I hope that you have enjoyed the video. I hope that you will like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you will be able to see what else is added to the channel. And that's Diane's decorating and more. All right. Tell me what you think. How did this plain Jane pound cake turn out for you? Okay. Leave a comment and let me know what you think, guys. All righty. Okay. We're going to cut a slice now. And taste it. Smells so good. There we go. Okay. All right. Get the other portion out of there too. Some of that fruit. Stand by. Oops, come back here. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. It is super, super soft. Okay, so this is the cake, all right? I'm gonna give you a close-up shot of that, all right? Okay, all right. And now, excellent for a plain Jane cake, okay? Yes, sir. Excellent, excellent. Mm hmm I am pleased at this. Really am. Okay, and you will be too. <laughs> okay, so thank you once again for joining me here on the channel, and that's Diane's decorating and more. More to come. So stay tuned. Y'all go out and have a great one. Bye bye.